thinker list. That's uh, now we're coming to the good part. Thinker list is, if you don't know it, uh, you can call it a newsroom uh, control system. It's not exactly that, but it does a lot of these things. Uh, in the end, it's run on builder uh, on one part, and on the other part, they have a playout uh, tool. They call Tinker queues. The same thing goes here. Absolutely no technicalities there. Our anchor journalists, they build the rundown exactly like they want it. And then they take it to the studio and they run it uh, just with a space bar. Uh, on the right side, and I'll show you live later how it really works, you see some templates. We have several of them available, like uh, we have an anchor solo. So that's a uh, template they can put in their rundown where we know only the journalist, only the anchor will uh, will be shown on screen then they can have another card uh, present in their rundown anchor with guests and to put it simple uh, like you might see on, on the, the card they just have to fill in names so in an anchor with guest card they know they have two places available in our studio we call them seat one and seat two and if they fill in a name and a function that's all they have to do when they run that card in the studio only the, the fact that they uh, filled in a name means we will open the microphone on the audio mixer. If they don't fill in a name, like in this case on seat two, we will we will not uh, open the microphone for that seat two. So audio mixing is uh, starting to work just by filling in a name in a rundown. That's how it works. The same information, like the name and the function, will also be used to put on a uh, lower third, of course, when that uh, person uh, uh, gets uh, shown on air. And then the beauty of the system begins to work because we have an automation behind the scenes that takes care of every directing logic you, you can imagine with the TV show. So when we put that lower, lower third for that person on air, we do only that when we know that that person is uh, on air in a close-up shot, not in a wide shot, not in a two shot. Only when he's in a close-up, we show his name. And maybe he stopped talking while we're showing uh, that uh, lower third, but we know the lower third uh, remains on there for five seconds, so we won't cut away. So lower third is on. We keep uh, that uh, camera on air until the lower third is gone. Everything a TV director would do is in there too, all taken care of by um, by Tinker list. That rundown looks a bit like this. Uh, it's a pretty long list. Most of the times, their uh, their the rundowns are shorter, but in this way, uh, they do depends on uh, how much news there is uh, each day. But on an average day, they do five to ten rundowns a day between six uh, a.m and 10 p.m. But uh, we had peak uh, days when there was a lot of news. They did 20 to 25 of these rundowns a day just by themselves. Um, if you want to, let's try and show you how it really works. So build a rundown from scratch. Um, let's switch to that. Um, OK. There's a computer they have available in their studio. So I'll. Uh, on the other hand, I have uh, to show you the actual output. Just log in. <clears throat> I should have logged in before, of course. <clears throat> so this is Tinker List the part uh, where you build your rundowns. So this is an actual one they have available. It opens on the right and you can see, okay, I'm really texting my laptop here, but this is a rundown they just built. They will be using it today. Um, they have an opener card that will take care of uh, yeah, the, the opening credits uh, to play. And we have enabled auto cutting. So the auto director behind the scenes will do all the actual cutting split screens when they have guests in the studio will take care of that. They can switch it off if they want uh, an actual technician to do the cutting for them, but we never switch it off. They just use it like this. Then they have an anchor solo in which he uh, put in some, uh, some stuff, uh, what he wants to talk about. 
he will launch um, a photo that will appear on the screens behind him. Behind him, there are uh, 10 Samsung screens, 100, 100 inch uh, each, um, with a VZRT engine behind it uh, that gets triggered from Tinkerlist. Then he will switch to a live journalist. Like I said before, the journalist will be Julie Colpart. She uh, is a journalist for VTM News, so that's her function. And she will be located in Paris. Paris. He just fills in these three things, and he fills in. It will come in through what we call Live One. He has uh, four live uh, sources available from our uh, master control room. He just asks our master control room guys, okay, on what channel will you deliver that uh, live feed? And they tell him, okay, it will be a live one. Okay, that's it. We'll also be playing a clip within that uh, live intervention. That clip uh, gets uploaded just from the web browser because everything you see is a web browser. He just uploads the MP4 clip uh, he exported from Cloud UX, goes into the playlist. And by setting that check mark, he knows when the clip ends, I will go back to the studio, meaning in this case, I will go back to that uh, cross talk with uh, Julie Colbert. After that, he will do an anchor solo uh, stuff to just say, okay, thanks, this was the end of the show. And that's the end. So you see, th this is basically how they built a rundown. This is an actual rundown they built, and then they can step into the studio and run it. So this is called Opnieuw Rellen in Parijs. If you want to, I will just run that uh, thing. Um, I'll show you this with an NDI output from it. They just uh, go to search. Okay, here you have it. Opnieuw Rellen in Parijs met JCO, Julie Kolpaard. Just click on it. We have a main and a backup vMix system behind the scenes. Uh, so if one of both fails, it just says, okay, I just load it on a backup machine and I go ahead. So even when one of the two uh, systems uh, fails, uh, they can still uh, go live. So load the rundown. There it is. You just <clears throat> um, trigger the opener to prepare it. And now all I'm be using is my spacebar. So nothing else but the spacebar. Opening credits are started. <clears throat> We cut to the camera, um, then we cut to the anchor solo part. So only the microphone of the anchor will be open. No other microphones will be open. Now the next space bar, I will cut to that photo scherm thing. Um, you will see that we cut to a wide shot because our creative department wanted us uh, to show the uh, images in the, in the screens behind him showing up. So let's do that. There we go. Photo comes up and we cut back to the same camera as before, but that has reframed to a wider shot. It's uh, difficult to see now because you don't see the anchor standing there, but they wanted uh, now the shot to be a bit wider. So you really see that picture uh, behind him. So that happened too behind the scenes now. Then we cut to our uh, live journalist, uh, Julie Colpart uh, over there. She will be coming in from a live view apparently. So the system works now like this. Um, when the anchor in the studio is not talking, we give that remote journalist full screen and we show her, uh, her, her, her graphics like she's in Paris. Eh? You know, uh, she filled, uh, they filled in Paris as location. And you saw also appearing Julie Copa, journalist VTMEs. It just comes up uh, automatically. No one is doing anything. When that anchor uh, starts talking, we make it a split screen. So we make it a two, a two shot, a two box effect with a journalist on one side and the, um, the reporter, uh, our anchor on the other side. I have no microphone uh, open at the moment, so you don't see that appearing, but it's basically whoever is talking is shown on air. Next space bar is uh, we will be showing that clip. Um, that clip, it has a parameter off, OFF, that's uh, like we used to call uh, a video uh, while the microphones remain open, so the journalists and anchor can still be talking over it, and we show the clip as illustration. When they set that clip as SOM, sound on the machine, uh, that's another terminology we use, we mute their microphones, and the clip is uh, played at minus 23 loves, but now that clip is played at minus 38 loves. So with one spacebar, 
we uh, trigger uh, stuff on Artisto, the audio engine, and we trigger stuff on vMix. You saw the clip ending. It goes back to, um, because we said it uh, should go back to studio, so it goes back to that uh, journalist, uh, live journalist situation. Next space bar will take him to Anchor Solo. Let's do that. Just to the space bar. Microphone uh, and all sound from that live source is muted now. We are now at the Anchor Solo uh, stuff, so journalists can still say, okay, thanks for watching. Uh, see more on HLN Live and VTM News uh, later on today. And that's the end of the show. We mute the microphones, so no unwanted uh, sayings uh, can go out again. And the other journalist operating Makalu, the master control room, takes over again and starts whatever clip they have lined up in uh, in in Makalu. So that's basically it. That's and how we operate a twenty four seven news channel and a studio with only three journalists uh, each day and a spacebar.